Hi everyone, Dave here. This uh, video I'm sharing with you the latest installation here at my off-grid cabin where I live uh, year-round. And over the years uh, I went from just using generator power and with uh, fuel consumption it just got too costly so um, close to four years ago uh, I incorporated solar power here and through previous videos I'm sure some of you have already seen. Um, so what I decided to do is incorporate an automatic transfer switch and um, this was picked up on Amazon relatively inexpensive and it is uh, as you can see you know listed and this particular model is uh, is good for up to 30 amps and that's more than enough uh, for for my consumption here at my cabin and so basically I had a qualified electrician come in do the work for me so while I had the electrician here I also uh, added a, a new breaker panel and it's got a hundred amp service um, so basically um, what I what I did was where I use solar power here um, as my primary source of electricity when I installed it on on this uh, transfer switch that was my primary source so when I had the generator running for example if uh, my battery bank what you see here if that goes down below what I would like and I have to to use the generator power whether it be really bad weather or if I'm doing some renovations and requiring a lot more power consumption than on, on a regular daily basis then um, starting the generator and the generator of course a lot of the Hondas and Yamahas out there you can get a remote automatic starter just the same as you would install on your automobile and that's the next uh, step with my generator so I can start the generator and it automatically switches over to the generator power with this unit and if I shut off the generator or for example at the time being I'll put in enough fuel whether it be six hours eight hours fuel I know the generator enough um, over the years by now so put in about eight hours fuel um, to get me through the night at the same time uh, so that will automatically switch over uh, I've got the chargers there for charging up the battery bank and they are on a separate breaker so it's easily enough all I have to do is switch the breaker on and I've got power onto this unit which I have uh, the charge automatic automatically plugged into the same as this one here so just got to get some plates and stuff this was only done uh, only a matter of 48 hours ago so but this automatic transfer switch uh, I've been reading up on them over the number uh, past few years and um, it's a great tool for example um, during the winter months if it's extremely stormy out and I don't want to go out to the generator uh, shack and switch over plugs like I've been doing for years this transfer switch uh, I can stay inside when it's extremely stormy out and don't have to worry about nothing when switching over power so um, just to give you a That's the inside of the unit. Basically, it's just a, just a little clicker switch there. That, and you've also got a delay mode on this unit, which I bypassed. The bypass is right there, that little red switch. There's a 20 or 30 second delay for some generators to warm up and in my case with the Yamaha 3000 watt inverter it doesn't it's got an automatic warm-up anyway so I bypassed that so it's instantaneous now so when it switches from the solar power my battery bank to the generator and vice versa there is literally no no pause whatsoever in my power that way my internet and all other the modem everything doesn't uh, reboot it stays on so it's 
uh, it's a great little unit, very inexpensive. I paid about $110 Canadian funds for, for this unit. And with Amazon Prime, I got it within, uh, within a matter of a couple of days. And it comes with full instruction, instruction manual um, as well on the inside of the plate. It's got all the specs right there for you. So anyway, I just thought I'd share this. It's a great tool for anybody out there that's going off grid, incorporating solar power or an alternative source of power. And um, they, they basically, this is uh, this is the unit that you want to to have installed. So it makes uh, makes life off grid so much uh, so much better, so much easier. Well, just to tidy up the unit, um, the power cable coming from the inverter, uh, instead of going through the walls, I decided to use uh, some conduit just to tidy up a little bit. I know it's not very tidy here in the utilities room. As you can see, I've got numerous cables and plumbing, et cetera, et cetera. But eventually... All of this here coming in from my uh, solar panels, and et cetera, and the charge controllers, all these power cables, they are all going to be tidied up, um, whether I use conduit or loom. I'm thinking loom for most of these smaller cables, but this is a nightmare for any electrician out there that's, uh, <laughs> that's seen this. But and that's my 4,000 watt uh, Magnusign, Magnum Energy uh, Pure, pure sign inverter slash charger and I'm only using the uh, the inverter and that's the conduit coming out there so yeah I just thought I'd share that um, I'm also going to be incorporating uh, I think the midnight solar classic the 150 I believe um, I may even go a little a step higher because right now I have 800 watts of uh, solar array and that is uh, quite sufficient, but I'm I'm planning on expanding with uh, with a larger battery bank in the near future, and these uh, these charge controllers will be replaced with the Midnight Solar Classic, and I'll have an additional 1500 watt solar array, and the solar array will be set up on an auto tracker that will follow the sun. Uh, it's 40% uh, more more power. When it follows the sun, that way you don't have to be changing the angle, um, you know, th a couple times, three times a year with your solar panels. So, one important thing I should mention uh, that works better with uh, when using this particular auto transfer switch, this automatic transfer switch, uh, tech cable, much better. The tech cable is actually a braided wire rather than a solid copper. It's a braided copper. And this transfer switch, as you can see with these connectors, these crimping connectors, uh, it's much easier with the braided copper than the solid. So if you have tech cable already, um, I would suggest using that to tie in your transfer switch. It makes it much easier and uh, then the then the solid copper tech cable is also a little bit more safer with uh, with the double insulation and I just thought I'd share I actually installed another ground block over here because the unit comes with this one on this side just made it more convenient to come down through here and obviously your your BX connectors are important as well with uh, with the insulation so as mentioned earlier in the video, uh, I would recommend getting having a qualified electrician to install this for you.